a very good morning to everyone i hope you are healthy and happy out there students today i am going to share my video with you regarding the topic leaf first of all i would like to explain the structure of a leaf students this is a simple leaf a simple leaf is attached to the stem and the point where the leaf is attached to the stem is known as leaf base the part which is attached from the base to the leaf lamina this portion is known as petiole the outer margin of the leaf outer margin is known as lamina this is the leaf lamina actually this is a leaf blade whole leaf now you can see this is the central vein its name is midrib and the side veins the name of the side is side vein is vein so this is midrib these are the veins and from the vein small veinlets arise this is the leaf tip or leaf apex okay so now i'm going to show you actual leaf this is as you can see this is people leaf students this is an example of a simple leaf as you can see here the leaf is attached to the stem and this is the petiole after petiole this is the midrib you can see you can also feel it with your hand the hard midrib midrib is giving rise to veins and those veins if you can see it very clearly veins are having small veinlets okay so veins and then veinlets i think the structure of a simple leaf is very much clear you can see over here this is an axil bud a simple leaf is having an axil bud at the base of the leaf okay now i'm going to show you a compound leaf basically a compound leaf is having this structure as you can see over here a compound leaf is arising from the stem but the portion over here is like this is called stipule the petiole is elongated till here and the leaflets are there these are the leaflets this is not a single leaf this is having small leaflets and this central part where, where the leaflets are attached known as rachis and in the axil of the rachis there is an axillary bud which is giving rise to another branch or a bud so you can see the difference this is a compound leaf okay now i'm going to show you an example of a compound leaf a very common example of a compound leaf is rose plant as you can see very clearly over here this is stem from the stem a leaf arises and the leaf is having leaflets rose plant leaf is having five leaflets and this central part is riches and if you will see minutely you can see here there is an axillary bud in the axil of the riches you can see in this leaf also the bud is very clear if you can see here this is bud this is bud in the axil of the riches and this leaflet is having only 3 sorry this leaf is having only 3 leaflets the leaf simple or compound they are having common reticulate venation as you can see over here the veins are forming a network you can see the veins are forming a network in both simple and compound leaf this is an example of a compound leaf and this is an example of a simple leaf please compare these two this is an example of a compound leaf rose plant and this is an example of a simple leaf people plant leaf is having a single leaf lamina leaf blade and in the case of compound it is divided into leaflets so this is the basic difference in simple and compound leaf now i'm going to show you the venation okay for venation i am having two samples 
as you can see this is a simple leaf sample pipal leaf it is having midrib veins and veinlets but this is having all the veins parallel where you can see very clearly lines straight lines all the veins are parallel when all the veins of the leaf are parallel the venation is known as parallel venation in case of a simple leaf here if the vein is having if there is a midrib and there are veins so it is forming a network network matlab ek jaal banandiyan ne so jadon ek jaal ban jaye patte de vich a network is formed that is known as reticulate venation so students now it is very much clear to you a simple leaf is having a leaf blade is a single leaf blade is single single leaf blade axillary bud is present in the axil of the simple leaf so in the axil of the simple leaf there is present an axillary bud from where the next leaf or the next branch arises okay and the example is people now compound leaf leaf blade is divided into leaflets so you you have seen leaf blade is divided into leaflets axillary bud is present in the axil of a riches so this is riches and axillary bud is present in the axil of riches so this is the basic you can see the axillary bud over here so this is a basic difference between a simple leaf and a compound leaf i hope the topic is clear in your mind if you are having any queries please write down in the comment box or contact me so i'm really thankful to you for watching this video thank you so much students